Hi, I'm Steve Conway. I'm Senior Vice President of Research for Hyperion Research. We're an analyst firm that tracks the worldwide market for high-performance computing and all the technologies that are needed to support it. And I'm Beth Langer, Senior Design Engineer and Technical Lead for CPC's Thermal Management Business Unit. We're here today to talk about trends in liquid cooling. CPC has been involved in liquid cooling for more than a decade now. What are the changes you've seen in liquid cooling for computers and data centers? So as compute densities and power densities continue to go up and up uh, on a rack level basis, um, the, the age of you know, a 10 to 15 kW air-cooled rack is, is starting to, to reach its end, and we're starting to see transitional technologies like rear door heat exchangers, um, some immersion technologies, direct contact cold plate technologies that are uh, you know, even reaching the realm of up to 300 kW per rack. Um, and with that comes different performance characteristics that the liquid cooling system uh, needs to adhere to. So higher flow rates, higher pressures, quick disconnects that can be um, compatible with a variety of different fluids um, and promote very low pressure drops across the system. When engineers are designing liquid cooling capabilities, what tips would you give them for specifying the right components? Yeah, the number one piece of advice I'd give as, as an engineer myself would be to consider quick disconnects or QDs early on in the design cycle. Um, from a reliability standpoint, look for quick disconnects that will promote leak-free operation um, as well as non-spill um, dry breaks on disconnect. Um, materials of construction that are going to uh, be corrosion resistant and compatible with you know, other materials that are in the liquid cooling system. From a performance standpoint, certainly look for quick disconnects that will promote high flow uh, and limited pressure drop to avoid um, significant impedance in the system. Um, look for materials of construction that are going to withstand high heat, high pressure, um, and, and be light, lightweight. Uh, you can imagine many connectors uh, on, a, on a rack level system. Uh, might start to add up. How easy or difficult is it for HPC manufacturers to deploy liquid cooling systems? Most of the companies and other organizations in government and academia and so forth uh, that use high performance computing have done that for years and so they're aware of the options. They know that there are trusted vendors out there um, who can help them and, and what their products do and so forth. But the market has been expanding very, very quickly. So there, every year there are hundreds of new companies that are adopting high-performance computing for the first time. Um, they're realizing that to out-compete their rivals, they have to out-compute them. Um, and they are not aware of the choices in the marketplace and need to be educated. There seem to be more options for connectors used in cooling loops. What should engineers and designers be looking for? What should they have in mind? So CPC has been focused on quick disconnects for fluid management applications over the last 40 years. Um, and we've been working very closely with our HPC uh, and data center customers to, to develop unique solutions that are specific to liquid cooling needs. Uh, one, one example I can think of is we recently had a HPC customer come to us looking for something that wasn't available on the market. They needed a very high flow connector in a very small space. Um, they wanted to be able to fit it within a 1U rack space um, and have some, some hose that would terminate off the end um, without taking up uh, too much space within the cabinet itself. So we were able to collaborate with them and come up with a very high flow uh, compact connector that included some uh, other features such as a swivel joint um, and 90 degree elbow termination that really helped them maximize uh, the space that they had available. Um, and so I guess the point is that innovating early on in the design cycle and, and bringing in experts uh, from across the you know, various cooling components systems like quick disconnects um, can really help uh, foster innovative solutions that will proliferate across the industry. Steve, thanks so much for your time today and sharing your insights. Oh, glad to be here. It's going to be very interesting to see where liquid cooling technologies go in the future.